Hello and welcome to BMR Revit Tutorials. Today we are going to make a roof ridge family model using the beam family. I actually came up with this idea while I was modeling the roof structure. Modeling uh, valley and hip rafters, I used beams and I placed them on the roof with just one click. Then I had an idea if we changed the beam profile and added one nested family, we could make a roof ridge in a very simple way. So I will, I'm going to use this villa project uh, and here I will show you how, to, uh, how we can model a ridge family using beam. Now you can see uh, from here I need to choose a floor plan as a placement plan. And now you can see only with one click we can create rich family. We can create rich family also using sweep tool, but uh, there are some details we cannot add on the sweep family like uh, joints between rich uh, elements. Now I will show you by editing this beam family how can we create the ridge? Okay, I delete the beam model and from here, from elevation, I will create profile. From here we will choose the elevation that's open now. Okay, and in a very simple way we can create profile for ridge. I will change the measure units okay and thickness of this ridge can be two centimeter uh, i will uh, draw this profile from uh, from inside you can you can draw it by outside maybe it's better from outside uh, the reason is Later we don't don't have to use the formulas to correct the uh, size of these uh, ridge joints. I will show you that later. Now you can see we have our ridge here. Uh, what we need from here you can change the offset. When you adjust the offset, once uh, you it, it will stay same for other ridges. Okay, what we need now we uh, I ha I have to create the one nested family, and that's going to be uh, our joint between clay ridges. Okay, I will draw reference plans for uh, for wide and for thickness of this nested family. This is one very simple uh, paramet parameter thickness. I will use only T. Okay, I change the measurement units okay all right and now I will add the reference plans for for white of the joint elements uh, that we are going to use as a nested family for our ridges. Okay, I will name it X, you can name it as you as you wish. Uh, here I add uh, 24 centimeter wide because we have ridge 20 centimeter and thickness of the ridges are 
two centimeter for, from both sides so it will be 20 and 4 centimeter uh, that's the reason why I said uh, earlier uh, maybe the bet uh, maybe it was better for us to create this profile of the ridge from uh, from the outside to extend the uh, this two centimeter thickness from outside in that case we want have to uh, add the formula later but this is good also because now for that uh, for ones that don't have experience in Revit I will show them how to add one very simple formula to correct that all right from here we will add the parameter for this nested family okay and now here it is I will add the formula here okay uh, I just need to change the X parameter from type to uh, to intense alright and that's it B is our uh, rich profile and we added uh, 4 cm because of our uh, join parameter because of thickness of our join parameter here and now I'm going to use the right tool and move our nested family to last I will align it and lock the last uh, join okay and from here I will add the parameter number of the joints alright now I will change from type to intense and now uh, I change it because our land is in intense uh, parameter and we cannot use formulas for different uh, types of parameter both have to be or uh, type or uh, intense alright uh, I forgot to lock this reference plans alright and now when we change the land of the alright that's it our ridge is family is ready okay uh, now I import this uh, rich family direct f to project uh, I suggest you not to do that because if you have another uh, beam family with this uh, name it uh, this change will affect all beams so I suggest you to save it by, by another name and then to import it into the project now we have our reach uh, here we have small problem we, we we can solve it in a very easy way there is two way to solve it I will show you both uh, ways <coughs> okay now from here by clicking and this solo join you can solve this problem the problem appears because we align our nested family in the uh, family editor to the uh, reference plans that's inside that are inside of the family later I will align them to the uh, reference plans that are outside of the family I will show that later now from here we have lands of the beams 
actually these are beams families and we can in a very easy way calculate the numbers of the of the parts of the elements we need to create for these uh, ridges as I said before I had here uh, three beams by this name three beam families by this name so it's better for you to save the family by another name and then to import it into the project now you can see by disallowing the join we can solve this problem very easily and here we have ridges ready this is a metal sheet roof maybe it uh, will looks better if we if we create a uh, family with adaptive family uh, for uh, tills roof but i think this is enough this revit model that i create before for uh, for one of our clients is enough for this tutorial just to show you how to create the reach using beam system and now I will show you how to solve problem with nested families we aligned it uh, to to this reference planes that are inside now I will align them to this reference plans and now using array tool I will move the last nested family to reference plan that's outside that second reference plan I, I don't know how to call it <laughs> okay as you can see we have uh, here two reference plans and distance between them are uh, is um, 20 centimeter okay clicking and drawing and draw elements you can see here we don't have a problem we're just to show you I will delete this ridge that we create before and from here uh, offset is ready family is ready we will add them to the project you can see now we don't have a problem yeah i like to use revit in a different ways especially if that's uh, are going to to work for me <laughs> Uh, if that way are, is going to bring us advantages now we have uh, ridges that looks uh, almost like real ones and also we can uh, use informations from them we can calculate the length of the ridges and we calcul can calculate the number of elements that we need to use to create this kind of risk here okay and join the element this one is ready too all right and that's it you can see in a very easy way just by clicking you can add the reads to your uh, project as I said before you can create reads using sweep tool but uh, you cannot uh, create these joints between reads elements all right that's it my friends uh, what left to say is please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to share my tutorials with your friends and colleagues 
In the next tutorial, I will show you how to calculate the number of elements that we need to create this ridge tools and how to, uh, to calculate the length of the ridges. See you in the next tutorial.